Hi, it is Sunday, July the 26th, and I am happy to say that there's good news to report as we're continuing to work our way through the COVID-19 pandemic. It seems like we've heard so much bad news uh, in the news and just all over that I'm glad to be able to say there really are some encouraging signs taking place right now. Uh, if you're following the numbers at all, you know that uh, globally the numbers continue to climb, and that's no big surprise. The good news even in that is that most of that growth is taking place in just a handful of countries. India, South Africa, and pretty much all of South America and Mexico are the places that are responsible for the increases in infection rates. The infection rate has increased from about 226,000 cases per day as of a week ago. Today, looking at the last seven days, it's increased to about 254,000 cases per day. It's about a 12% increase. The good news, though, is that the United States is not responsible for hardly any of that increase at all because here at home, as we've seen over the last couple of weeks, as governors and, and uh, counties and, and uh, mayors of, of local communities have instituted mandatory mask orders, it's really doing what it's supposed to do. We've watched the numbers just climb, climb, climb in terms of infection rates since the middle of June, and for the first time, we have a week that it has not climbed. The, the growth rate uh, of the infection rate since the fourth week in June has been 38%, followed by 31%, 24%. Last Sunday, it was 14% for the previous week, and today, that growth rate is 1%. We have flattened the curve in terms of the growth of the disease in the United States, and that's the first big step you have to take in order to bring the numbers down. If we continue doing what we are doing, we'll see those numbers going down. Here in the state of Alabama, I can report a similar thing. Last Sunday, the news was really grim. We had seen the number of new cases per day jump from 1298 to 1898. That number has actually dropped by 3% this week. We flattened the curve within the state. It didn't require us to shut down the economy. It didn't require us all to stay home. It did just require us to do what we're doing, and that is everyone wear a mask, everyone practice social distancing, and just be wise about not going out more than you have to, not being in public more than you have to. We can get this thing under control by each doing our part. So be encouraged. We're moving this in the right direction. No, we don't want to continue seeing 69,000 new cases of COVID in the U.S. every day. Yes, that's still a high number. But if we continue what we're doing, it's not just going to, to stop the growth of that curve. It's going to bring it down. And so let's hang in there. Let's continue to each do our part. And that doesn't just mean wearing a mask and social distancing. It means praying for God to intervene, to heal the sick, and to cause this thing to come to an end. And as we do our part and as we call on God, we'll see this thing brought to a close quicker than we had imagined. So thank you for not losing heart. Thank you for continuing to do your part. I'm Mark Price reminding you to stay in touch, stay encouraged, and stay safe. And always remember that you're loved.